And that is the peaceful transfer of power. The 45th president of the United States is now Donald J. Trump. He said, I will fight for you with every breath in my body and I will never let you down. So we do have some breaking news because while it is about celebration, it is also now about policy. Oh, that's right, Aaron. Uh, President Trump went right to work. He went right into the Oval Office shortly after he uh, departed from the is day two going to be as busy as day one? He met with business leaders. He met with union leaders. He signed a bunch of stuff. He fulfilled some campaign promises. What's left? The pace over the past 10 days has been astronomical. Everybody in official Washington I talked to said, I cannot believe he's only been president for 10 days. Uh, Dan, I, I think you got to admit, they got a pretty impressive job rolling out this nomination. This is how it's supposed to be done. I mean, this is done to the T, uh, actually even more so than we've seen in the past. We, we, we're seeing the markets react positively. It is better than expected. Consumer confidence rocketing to a 16-year high. Healthy job growth again for the month of February. So is this the Trump effect? <laughs> oh, I think it is. I think there's no question that employers like uh, Donald Trump a lot in his agenda. And I think the fact that he's just more pro-business from the previous administration. The Dow still nearing all-time highs, just finishing the longest quarterly winning streak in 10 years. It was by far the best speech I've ever heard Donald Trump give. Uh, it was one of the best speeches in that setting I've ever heard any president give. He's repairing relationships with Egypt as well as with Saudi Arabia and the Gulf states. You know, they saw Trump yesterday talk about Iran violating the spirit of the nuclear deal. So this is clearly part of a long-term strategy to reorient American foreign policy. The bottom line is he's done well. He has done a lot of the things that he promised, like appointing a Supreme Court judge, like getting out of the Trans-Pacific Partnership, like cutting regulation. But he's done a really good job. Well, he's pretty close promises. to perfect, Sean. I mean, I'm, I, I'm, I'm serious. He, he has done more than any president in the la in recent history, certainly in the last half century, in the first 98 days of his presidency. I am asking all citizens to embrace this renewal of the American spirit. I am asking all members of Congress to join me in dreaming big and bold and daring things for our country. I am asking everyone watching tonight to seize this moment, believe in yourselves, believe in your future, and believe once more in America. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless the United States.